Welcome to Electron Line. We're now ready to solve a problem, an example problem using first order operational amplifiers. So we already have some of the basic formulas that we derived in a couple of previous videos. And now what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the voltage across capacitors as a function of time. And then we'll go ahead and find the voltage when time is equal to one. And then we want to find the output voltage as a function of time. And again, find the actual value when the time is equal to one. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, we need to find the equation, and we have that already. We know that the voltage across the capacitor is equal to the initial voltage times e to the minus t over tau. So starting with the basic equation, the voltage across the capacitor as a function of time is equal to the initial voltage times e to the minus t over tau. So now we need to find tau. Tau is equal to R1 times the capacitance. So to find that, we say, okay, tau is equal to R1 times the capacitance, which is equal to 50 kilo ohms multiplied times the capacitance of 10 times 10 to the minus 6 farads. And so it would be 500,000 times 10 to the minus 6, which is equal to 0 0.5 seconds, a half a second for the time constant. So what we can do now is plug that in here. We know the original voltage, so we know then that the voltage of the, across the capacitor as a function of time is equal to 3 volts times e to the minus and divide by 0.5 the same as multiplying times 2 that would be 2 times time. Now if we want to find the voltage across the capacitor after one second we see the voltage across the capacitor when t is equal to 1 is equal to 3 volts multiplied times e to the minus 2 times 1 and of course for that we need a calculator. 0 0.406 volts, which is the voltage across the capacitor when one second has elapsed. Now the next thing we want to do is find the output voltage. Now the output voltage can be found by solving node 2, which we had done in the previous video. There is node 2 right there. Current in equals current out. That's the equation we have over here. So which means that minus the output voltage is equal to the current from the capacitor times RF, or let's see here, uh, let's, let me take that back, current, oh yes, current, well actually, we know that the current from the resistor here is equal to the current come from the capacitor, so this can be replaced, so let's go ahead and do that, so we have minus the output voltage is equal to RF times that, so it would be the feedback resistor times the current coming from the feedback resistor or going through the feedback resistor, which we knew by when we solved node 2 that that current is equal to the current from the capacitor. So we can say that uh, the output voltage is therefore equal to R sub F, we put a minus in front of that because we put the minus on the other side, times instead of finding the current through the feedback resistor, we have the current from the capacitor. And the reason why we do that is because we can express the current from the capacitor in terms of the change of the voltage with respect to time. And so that means that the volt output voltage is therefore equal to minus the feedback resistor times I sub C can then be written as the capacitance times the rate of change of the voltage across capacitor with respect to time. Okay, so here we have the voltage across capacitor, when we take the derivative of that, it will look as follows. So this is equal to the output voltage is equal to minus the feedback resistor. And uh, well, let me take the derivative first. So we have R sub F times C times the derivative of this, which is the three volts times the minus two. And then we have E to the minus two T. Now plugging in some more numbers here, let's see what we get. So the output voltage is equal to R sub F times C, that would be minus 100 K ohms, multiplied times 10 times 10 to the minus 6 farads. That happens to be equal to 1, times 3 volts times 2, that would be times, uh, let's see here, we have a minus times a minus, that would be negative 6 volts times E to the minus 2T. And so combining everything, the output voltage is going to be equal to 6 volts times e to the minus 2t, 
And now we have the equation for the output voltage. All we need is if we want to solve for t equals to 1, the output voltage. Uh, let's see here. This is when as a function of time. So when time is equal to 1, that's equal to 6 volts times e to the minus 2 times 1. And let's do this again. We have 2, make it 9, minus, take e to the x, times 6 equals, and there we have the output voltage when time is equal to 1, is going to be equal to 0 0.812 volts. Okay, and there's a nice example of how to find the voltage across capacitor, the voltage, the output voltage of the circuit, and the voltage at a particular time. And that's how it's done.